What's happening people? Johnny Styles here in Orlando, Florida with none other brand new invited to the Arnold classes just in eight weeks. Andrea Renko, Andrea, tell the people how does it feel? This just happened. Yeah, definitely a lot of emotions. Uh, I'm really excited, um, beyond grateful, especially with the Arnold team um, for giving me the opportunity, of course. Um, nervous in a good way um, just blessed and I'm really 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 excited to be able to just perform next to the top of the world top of the world you're not a stranger to the Arnold stage because you went there last year how different is it like from last year to this year um, well last year you know it was the amateur show I had big hopes it was just a dream you know my right. second show ever Second show ever, ladies and gentlemen. I had been training for eight months, so it was like, of course I want to turn pro, but I knew it was a huge chance. Right. So I did turn pro, and now here I am, about to compete in eight weeks. Yes. With so, top Olympians. Top Olympians. <laughs> so speaking of the Olympians, I want to get your quick thoughts and opinion on at least that top five, top six girls you saw at the Olympia. Did you like the look? Did you like what we saw on stage? Yeah, most of them looked amazing. Conditioning, size, glutes, quads, performance in general, and just excited to see how I look next to them. That's that's very important <laughs> because for those who don't, you know, haven't seen the list, all these girls are Olympians, and you are kind of the odd girl out coming into this show. Now, you did Puerto Rico, you did Tampa last year. I praised you. Your your shape, your structure, you're very pretty and you present yourself well on stage. It's one of those situations that she is one of the girls that you're a little bit taller yeah. than, than the other girls and when you come out on stage, you can, your eyes kind of look go to you, your, your hair, your makeup, everything. Now, you didn't place as well as we all, we all thought you were going to do. What happened? How was your mindset after you did those shows? So, after Tampa Pro, you know, I looked very good the night before the night before yes. yeah so i took pictures and i looked crazy and i was you know going with really high hopes because i was like i look good this time and then the morning off it was just a complete different person mm -hmm. i looked completely different so i was already going to the show thinking you know i'm not lean enough i look a little bit off blah 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 so i think that really got into me I didn't play good, obviously, and you know, after the show, it was hard mentally, like, I went to, I don't want to say a dark place, but I went to a dark place, I, I was eating a lot, I wasn't training as hard, it was like a month of just on and off, I didn't want to do cardio, I didn't want to go to the gym, I was just like, like, ah, I don't know what I want to do, like, is this it, like, am I good enough mm -hmm. am I not good enough and then um, the Arnold reached out to me mm -hmm. I didn't even know I was invited to the Arnold and they were like yeah well you won the amateur so you're actually the first qualified to go to the Arnold wow. so talk um, about motivation <laughs> yeah it was in October so they talked to me and that was like a switch I was like I'm given this opportunity Arnold is such a prestigious show, like Very you have to be invited. Yes. You don't win a show, you have to be invited to go to the show. So I was like, I'm not gonna let these two shows, you know, just get to me. It's my first two pro shows. I haven't even been bodybuilding for two years. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, 25 years old, ladies and gentlemen, 25 yep. years old. And so I was like, that was like, I flipped the switch. You know, I started my meal plan, I talked to Kim, my coach, and then I was like, you know, I really need to do a long prep because I was heavy and I wasn't training very good. So I started training hard, doing my cardio, you know, just everything, everything in general. Changed. So my next question was gonna be, you know, you did 2022, your ups and your downs. What is different now in the training in 2023 that's gonna lead up to these coming eight weeks? Um, training wise. Training you know, wise. Your whole training with your coach. So we have gotten to know each other better. Communication. Yes. Okay. So when I first started working with Kim, I was eight weeks out to Puerto Rico. 
And my boyfriend used to be my coach, but he was like, now that you're a pro, that you really need a coach, like right. someone that it's outside of the two of us that's gonna look into you, a professional. Right. So I reached out to Kim, and we started working immediately. And you know, just getting to know my body in eight weeks, it's it's, it's hard. It's, yeah, it's hard. hard. And then we had another five weeks to Tampa. So okay. after that, you know, we started working, talking. He got to know my body better, and now he knows my body much better. My body has been working so much better this time around like I haven't been struggling a lot um, training is more focused on my like glutes hamstrings that's like what I focus on the most um, he did some like tricks and little things that he has been telling me to do um, and it has really made a difference my waist has gotten really big just from eating wow. obviously and then he told me just a few things and... And everything changed. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you know, the, the, the quads are very powerful in your physique. And I've seen her, I came to the gym and she's been training. And you can see that you have, I would say the last five weeks, you've, you've developed this great physique. Your glutes and your hands were the hardest part to grow. Yeah. Be before, from the front, you're so different than from the back. Especially for someone that hasn't never trained before, right. you know, right. hamstrings so it are becomes, hard to it becomes more like an issue for like muscle maturity, and exactly. that just comes with time. It, it makes me remind myself of, of Bobby, of Bobby yeah. Mano. Great structure. She just needs more time, just like you. Exactly. She's only done two shows, people. This is insane. Okay. So, you saw the list. You saw those ten girls. They're all Olympians. If you wanted to get compared from all those 10 girls which which girl would you like to be like i would like to like stand next to her so we can see you know who do you like in the um i mean they all look amazing but i would say my favorite physiques uh, most of the girls that i've been following like even before i even thought before, of yes. like competing ever right. would be east of course she looks ridiculously Chan. amazing and um, this girl, she was fifth at the Olympia. I am. I, am. I think she looks incredible. Very two powerhouses <laughs> to be. To be at the, I, I would mean, like. I would like. I would like to have you next to Jason Machado. Well, I was next. Well, I, I'm bringing a very different physique. Right, right. <laughs> because you've done shows with, with her, her yeah. and you've seen her in real life. I have. You know. It's it different, it's, uh, absolutely. <laughs> so I specifically, and on record, I want to say that I want to see that again. I want to see you next to her and see, because it's kind of what we talked about. You can now see yourself next to these guys, these girls, yeah. and you can see that you know, can I get better? Can I? What else can I improve? But in one year, you have improved. I feel like also like I'm learning much about my body now. My muscle mind connection is different. Yeah. My mindset is different. Before it was more like a pressure of me like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this. Now I'm like, this is an opportunity and I'm gonna live it and I'm enjoying being on prep. You know, before it was kind of like, I have to win or I have to be better than her. If she does 40 minutes of cardio, I can do one hour, you know. I'm just saying, like, right, just right. an example. So now, um, now, now you are enjoying your prep as you go along exactly. for the run. Exactly, because like I'm doing this because I love it, not because someone to. is you making me, right. you know. Right. Like it took me a second to realize that I wasn't doing this for someone else. I'm doing it for me and it's my body and if it takes me five years, it's okay. I'm only 25. Okay, <laughs> absolutely. Again, she's 25 years old. Um, again, 10 girls. We all want to win. We all train to win. We all want to be the number one. What would you be happy from one to ten? What number would make you happy as a competitor? I wouldn't Being realistic. a specific number. Of course, a dream creature would be on the top five. Top five, okay. But honestly, it's my first Arnold ever. Right. Third show, third pro show ever. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, my focus this time around isn't really a placing. I just want to show my physique the way I should have done it right. two shows ago. Two shows ago, which, again, it, it, I told her personally, you know, sometimes it hurts because on the previous shows, I had her so high because, again, her shape and structure is so good when you see her on stage. But, again, like you said, these things happen probably overnight. 
because one of the shows she was telling me that she looked crazy and then in less than 24 hours everything changed yeah. <laughs> so that itself is crazy Andrea anybody you want to think that's watching or hearing this right now <laughs> well first of all the Arnold of course for the invitation the IFBB Pro League uh, my coach Kim Odo for just being so patient with me <laughs> we have had mm -hmm. to learn a lot yeah. about each other you of course for coming course. all the way here to interview me um, and my family for supporting me yes. that's very huge. important very yes. important. it's huge for me because when I first started doing this at first you know bodybuilding they were like oh are you really gonna do this that's a man thing but now that they <laughs> understand it they're like you know they support me um, they're gonna go to the Arnold with me. Wow, that's it's really the cool. first show ever. Very they're cool. gonna see me compete. At. What a show! What a show! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so you're yeah. you're you're Latina just like me. You did Christmas, kind of, sort of eating <laughs> good, right? So you're getting <laughs> no treats for me. No treats. But it's no okay. Treats. I got to It'll spend be worth it with my family. It'll be worth it. And you know, it is what it is. Where can people find you on IG? Tell them. So my IG is Andrea P Berti. I have a TikTok that I haven't used in a while. Oh boy. <laughs> so. Let's see, let's see. If you get that top six place and you'll be doing a lot of dancing videos <laughs> for us on TikTok. So My TikToks are from like when I was 40 pounds lighter. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here in Iron Religion in Orlando, Florida with Andrea. She just has been invited to the Arnold Classic and we're really happy here at the Wellness Observer Live that she's gonna be there and doing battle with this Olympians. For Andrea, this has been Johnny Styles, and we will see you very soon. Eight weeks. <laughs>